A lot of people complain and say that Dead by Daylight isn't that balanced of a video game and it would be really easy for the devs to balance it. And, and honestly, they're right. If the sole goal of the developers was to create a balanced game, it would not be very difficult. And I guarantee you they could have the game in a very, very, very balanced state within the next year. But that's not the sole goal. And there are other things that are very important that don't involve balancing. Before I get into that, I just want to talk about my favorite licensed killer aesthetically, which is Michael Myers. I've talked about it before on the channel, but I think Michael Myers is an extremely faithful recreation of Michael Myers from the movies. I think his power is cool. I think the way he looks is cool. I think just everything about him screams Michael Myers. That being said, he usually tends to either be pretty underpowered or just straight up too strong, depending on the add-ons you take. Most people say that Michael Myers isn't that good of a killer because honestly, you know, in a lot of situations he isn't. But if you take an add-on called Tombstone Piece, basically what it does is it lets you just instantly kill somebody once you stalk enough survivors. So you can have a game where you literally do not see or interact with the player for the first three minutes, walk around a corner, see them, instantly get tier three, and then just kill a survivor right there. Their very first interaction with you is just instantly being killed and deleted from the game. That is really, really good. And the only way to really balance a mechanic like that is just straight up eject it from the game. There's no way you can have a killer that has the option to do something like that, but still be balanced. But it fits very well aesthetically and lore-wise with Michael Myers. He chose to to go into the fog. He chose to join the entity. He chose to become a part of the game. He was not taken. He was not forced into anything. This was his choice. And so he's able to defy the will of the entity, unlike the other killers, which are bent to its will. So he can pick up a survivor and he can just kill them because that makes sense for Michael Myers. He's pure evil and isn't bound by anyone's rules. Removing that might balance the game and make it easier to balance Michael Myers, but it takes away something that people think is just a really interesting aspect from the character. Now let's flip to the other side of things and talk about something really weak involving Michael Myers, which is his tier one. Basically, he, every single game, regardless of what add-ons you take, what build you have, as Michael Myers, you start out in tier one, which means you move barely faster than survivors, you don't have a lunge, so you can only hit people when they're right in front of you, and you have no terror radius. Now in 99 out of 100 games, this is just a hindrance and your goal is to get out of tier one as quickly as possible. So the answer is simple. We'll get rid of tier one or make tier one better or this or that or give you the option to ignore tier one. But the problem with that is having tier one fits in with how Michael Myers acts in the movies. If you've ever seen the first Halloween, in the very first movie, he's, he's stalking Laurie. He's always, you know, just right out of you, he's looking at him from behind a bush, wherever, constantly hidden, constantly viewed, and then he starts killing people, and then he basically becomes an unkillable monster. And that's how he works in the game. You start out as someone extremely weak, and all you can really do is just stare at survivors. And then as the game progresses, you become more powerful, and more powerful, and more powerful, until, you know, you're one-shotting people, you, you're vaulting things quicker. I feel like at a certain point, you should say, balance isn't the sole thing we're focusing on, we should be trying to make these killers feel like killers, these survivors feel like survivors. We need to make this game feel like a game. But there's another side to this argument, where just because something is theoretically balanced does not mean it's healthy or enjoyable. Let's say I create a killer, correct? I, I make a killer, I design a killer in Dead by Daylight, and how it works is you start the game, Two survivors instantly die, the other two instantly escape, the game ends. That is the most balanced killer that you could ever have in Dead by Daylight. But is it fun? No. Because you're not even playing the game. There have been situations where characters have been buffed to the point where they're theoretically balanced, but they're just so unenjoyable for everyone involved that they have to change the, the way they play. So we're going to talk about Legion. Legion, for example, is a killer that when he first came out was theoretically balanced. On average, you could guarantee two kills. But the problem with old Legion is that you could actually negate somebody's skill 
and killed them regardless of where they were on the map, how they played on the map. It, you could actually delete survivor's skill from the game, which was really fucking funny, but really unfun to experience. A hundred people have done the extremely in-depth details on why Old Legion just completely was one of the worst experiences Dead by Daylight has ever had. But So I'm not going to go into it, but long story short, Legion was balanced, theoretically, but was just so terrible to play against that it had to be changed. Balance is something that is easily attainable. You, me, a monkey could fucking balance a video game. But to balance something and to make it fun, and to make it fun to go against, and to like make it interesting it, it it's a lot harder and while i still think the developers make a lot of mistakes i can understand why the game isn't as balanced as it could be because worrying about all these things at the same time can can make it very difficult but but honestly what do you guys think do you think i'm full of shit do you think it's easier to balance do you have anything that you think kind of ignores the statements that i said please let me know because i would like to hear and yeah, a lot more content coming. Love you guys. I'll catch you later.